Hey everyone, and welcome to our new feature, Comic of the Week, presented by Graded Point Five. This week's focus will be Uncanny X Men number two eighty five. So some might be asking, Optimus, well, well, Wayne, well, which which one you will go by? Uh, oh, which one won't get his copyright stricken? So some might ask, why did I select X Men number two eighty five as the first comic of the week? Well, it's got a very historical connotation to it. Because this is the very first comic that I purchased as a wee lad. And I say wee lad, I mean I was like 14 or something. I don't know. It was just, you know, it was whatever. Anyway, this was very eye-opening to me. Because before this, I didn't know very much about comics except for like playing the Avengers on on in the arcade. Which just so happens was in the store that I bought it. And I had an Avengers arcade. And I was like, oh, they got the Avengers. And I go check out, oh, there's comics. Let's look. Oh, Oh, look at this art. Look at this stuff. This is so cool. Oh, my God. I got to have it. And so I bought it. So it's kind of weird that I bought a book that comes in the middle of a uh, story arc. But, you know, they always say that you always have your first comic one way or another. And it doesn't really matter when you come in as long as they can give you a good enough recap. And I will tell you, I had no idea what was going on in this story. (laughs) All I know is that it looked cool. I liked the art. The action was pretty cool. People were getting punched a lot, and then I found figured out that Colossus is going to be one of my favorite characters of all time because he's made of metal and that's cool. So you're going through this book and you got some really cool scenes. You got Colossus unarmoring and apparently he's the fucking chosen one. Okay, they just came through a portal and now he's God. Yes, win. And then for some reason, Storm is laid out in the desert and parched because because she just came from a party. If you look back, there's a previous issue. This all started at a party. And then she's come back, and all of a sudden she's immediately like going to die in the desert until she's saved by the mysterious stranger. It's always the mysterious stranger. You ever notice that? <clears throat> one thing I find it really interesting on these pages is there's this one part where Storm just has this look on her face like her eyes disappear, but she's all like, mm, I'm going to be a smug. And I don't know why. Because I'm hungry? Okay. So anyway, she tells about this portal she went through and and Mysterious Strangers goes freaking nuts and decides that, you know, we got to go find the, go take you back to the portal and get you back to the house. Then we come to a scene where Archangel is apparently asleep, but he's still killing everybody because he's Archangel and that's what things happen, you know, because whatever. Then he wakes up and he's like, oh, wait, I killed people again without knowing it. I think I knew that was going to happen, but whatever, you know, I'm just Archangel. I like to kill folks, even though I don't really like it. It's, yeah, but fine. It's fine. 10 out of 10. And then we have Iceman and doing Iceman things, which is usually means being worthless because he doesn't know how his powers work at this point. I make that joke because, you know, they say he's an Omega-level mutant, but the only people who have ever made his powers work are other, when other somebody else takes over his body. Gosh. And then, for some reason, Storm takes off all her clothes, puts on a loincloth, and starts riding on, on dragons. We go further and find out that Colossus is apparently resembles some chosen one from some prophecy. And, you know, he's all like, hey, you know, look at all, this, all these people who love me. You know what? I'm kind of liking this. It's pretty cool. And Jesus tries to say, you need to chill out, man. This, this is getting crazy. And we're back to Iceman just, I don't need beating up people with Sunfire. By the way, that's Sunfire. They really don't make a make a visual reference to that Sunfire until they actually say he's Sunfire. So, And then Archangel comes to these other people and she's like, I want you to work for us because you kill a lot of people too real good. And he's like, no, I don't want to do that. But she's going, he's going to do it anyway because he's Archangel. He always gets into stupid things. And apparently everybody in this, country, in this uh, reality wears a cape. Because why not? And then we come back to Colossus, and he's just getting drowned in women. Oh, and then he gets, then Gene gets mad at him, tells him he needs to shape up, ship out. And at the end, we have the cliffhanger that uh, that uh, Colossus's brother is the mysterious stranger, and he's here to save everybody, or is he? Mm. And then we go back to a to regular reality where Bishop has appeared and he's all like, we got this, you know, we're going to make sure that the future doesn't happen and stuff like that at the end. So in all seriousness, this book was like, like I said, was my very first book that I ever read. And it kind of got me started. And I wouldn't say kind of, it did. I went full bore into loving comics. I went and found the back issues so I could understand this story, started buying them from there on out. Uh, found a local comic book shop, started getting a pull list, and it was just downhill from there for about, uh, I would say, 10 years. 
but yeah, this is the this is the one that started it all. It was great. Uh, I enjoyed it. I, I'm this is one that got me got me hooked. So I will say that this was the definitive start for me. And I would say in this era, which was in the 90s, this uh, style of book and art is what got a lot of people hooked on comics in the first place. I mean, this was the style that basically led to like an- the animated series and whatnot. So, yeah, if you get a chance, be sure to check it out. And that's it for the first edition of Comic of the Week. Tell us what you think on Twitter at Greater Point 5. And if you wish to see us expand into more comic-related media, consider contributing to our Patreon at the link provided below. Until next time, Excelsior. Fuck, finally got it. Okay. Good luck, Josh. I love you. Mm-hmm.